Talking with Ron Hansen of the uh, Montreal Expos here. Uh, your hitting instructor, what's your position here, Ron? Well, I handle more of the infield. I don't handle any of the hitting, uh, per se, but mostly just the infield. And, of course, I'm then the first base coach also. You had a career with uh, quite a few teams, and mostly in the American League, as I recall. You broke in, what, with Baltimore? Yes, I signed with Baltimore as a youngster and came up through their organization. I played four years with the Orioles, and then I was traded to Chicago White Sox. I played seven years there. I was then traded to the Yankees. I played uh, a couple of years with the Yankees. I was in uh, Washington for part of a year in Kansas City for a year. So I did make the rounds, so to speak, uh, all in the American League. How did you end up in the National League? Well, um, uh, this is my first uh, time in the National League, and uh, I uh, coached for Buck while uh, Rogers when he was in uh, Milwaukee. And um, uh, when Buck was hired here, uh, we got together, and uh, uh, I was glad to come over. I, I always wanted to see what the National League was like. Now I'm like, having a chance. Uh, as I recall, were you Rookie of the Year? Was it 1964 or somewhere around that vicinity? No, it was a little earlier than that, thank you. Uh, it was 1960 I was Rookie of the Year, so uh, I appreciate you giving me a few years there. <laughs> I'm trying to give us both a few years. <laughs> but that's good. No, it was 1960, and uh, it's a memorable experience. Now, when you went to Chicago, didn't you replace Saprissio at that time? I did. I was traded for Louis uh, in 1962 with the Orioles. Uh, uh, Louis came to Baltimore, and I went to Chicago. And uh, Louis played in Baltimore, I guess, for six or seven years, and I played in Chicago for that length of time. Uh, would you give us a little idea of what a infielder and coach does here with the Expos? What your what your duties are here? Well, my main uh, duty here this year was uh, with the transformation of Hubie Brooks and uh, Vance Law to uh, different positions primarily than they had played before. And uh, uh, throughout spring training, we worked with both Hubie and, uh, and um, Vance because, as you know, they were both third basements before. I never played the positions that they're playing now. So we worked a lot uh, at short and second with double plays, uh, ground balls, uh, throwing, because uh, everything's different in the middle of the infield than it is at third base. So uh, we spent most of spring. In fact, we're still working on different things now. Uh, different uh, types of ground balls and things and different uh, plays you get around the bag at second so uh, with them it's kind of a uh, still a learning period with uh, Danny Greeson at first and uh, and uh, Wallach at third uh, they played the positions for a long time so my main uh, responsibility with those two is just remind them now and then of the bad habits that they can get into or if they are in a bad habit or uh, getting into a bad habit then I try to correct it at that point but it's not so much a teaching thing with those two. So you're, uh, that's your duties in this particular case. Is, is that the, the normal type of duties? Normally you get the guys that have played the position. Uh, how do you, what, well, how do you? Well, at this level, uh, mostly a coach, an infield coach such as myself, uh, is in a position where the players have played a long period of time at their positions. So mostly uh, what your responsibility is to just make sure that they don't create bad habits, get themselves into bad habits, and you spend most of the year kind of just watching and observing and every now and then uh, correct something that you might see that, uh, that they're getting into, uh, which is a little different this year for me because I'm really in a teaching kind of role with the two guys in the middle of the infield. So it's kind of a reminder. Uh, we, we go over some things and we try to show them some things. They work on them. And then uh, the rest of the year, I'll just keep kind of reminding them, and uh, they'll keep working on it. And hopefully it'll stick with them. And I think that, in fact, there already has been a big improvement in the, in the, in the two. And uh, they're learning quickly, and they're good athletes, and, uh, and they've done well. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, thanks for talking to us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.